we have a beautiful store created in Shopify refresh theme. So we are going to integrate PayPal smart buttons into that. I have already created a lot of videos with different themes integrating the smart buttons, but I thought that I have to in create an individual video for uh, refresh theme as well. So here in this video, I will be showing you all the steps you need to follow each of the single thing. But uh, before that, you should uh, download the code. The link of that code I have added in the description. Just click on that. So here in the dashboard of the Shopify store, you can see that I have installed a refresh theme. It has the latest version. If you have any other version, then still this will work fine. All right. So first of all, you need to click on these three dots, click on duplicate, because if you are duplicating this theme, then definitely if something went wrong, then you can restore all those changes. All right. And uh, again, click on these three dots, click on edit code. Finally, you will be uh, finding here some folders and files. First step is to create a snippet. So here you need to click on snippets folder, click on add a new snippet. And here you need to paste that uh, name of the snippet. So actually I have uh, already created a documentation. Once you are downloading the file and extracting uh, that file, you will be getting these three files in, inside of it. So the first file is documentation, open it. And here we have all the steps. The first step is like create a new snippet and the name of snippet is paypal-smart-buttons.liquid. So you need to copy the name from here and then paste it inside of this input box and click on done. So this way actually we can uh, we have created that snippet and inside of it we are interested to put the code. So we have two types of code. The first one is like uh, adding the credit card button only and second is like putting PayPal button along with that we have the credit card button as well. So sometime if you have already integrated the PayPal uh, into your store, so that time you don't need to add the yellow button of the PayPal. So in that case, you will have to use this file code. And if you are uh, not having the yellow button as well as the credit card button, so you should follow this code. So I have already created the code. You need to select all this, copy this and paste it right inside of it. Once you are pasting here, then you need to save these changes. So this is the code which we have inside the snippet. And now we are interested to include this snippet into our cart page. So how we will be doing that? We need to again follow the steps inside the documentation. So the second step is like open sections, then main dash cart dash footer dot liquid. So let's go to section. Then you need to scroll it down. And here we have main dash cart dash footer dot liquid. And inside of it, we have some more things like uh, find this line of code that is additional checkout button. So here you can see that uh, we have additional checkout button and just above it, we are interested to put that uh, uh, line of code, new line of code. That is this one. We are including this uh, snippet which we have created. So you can see that this, the, this is the keyword of render. That means we are rendering that uh, snippet. All right. So I have pasted that code here and to confirm it like this is valid code or not, you need to hover over it. Once you are hovering over it, then you can see that we have an arrow button here. That means we have the valid code. We already created the snippet. So now you need to save these changes. And finally, you have to refresh this page again. And now we are interested to go to this uh, product page click on add to cart, we will be redirected to the cart page. And here we go. Now you can see that we have the checkout button, we have PayPal button and we have debit or credit card button. If you are interested to see this in your mobile phone view, here you can see that this looks like this. So this is pretty beautiful. Now we are interested to hide this yellow button. So how we can do that? For example, we already have this yellow button and we are interested to put only the credit card button. So the simple solution is like you need to go to this file. We have only credit card button inside of it. Just select this, copy this and then paste it right inside of it. But before that, you need to remove everything and paste it here. Once you are pasting all the code, which is new one, let's save these changes. And finally, you have to refresh it again. And here we go. Now you can see that we don't have the yellow button over here that is disappeared. Why? Because we have updated the code. And uh, for now, we don't have the yellow button. So we are interested to keep it back. So let's undo the changes. Now we have undone the changes. Let's save this again and uh, refresh it. And here we go. Now we have PayPal button appearing again. All right. So one more thing we are interested to do is like we need to hide this checkout button because sometimes people are interested to hide this checkout button. So how we can do that? I already added the code. So here we have I have commented this out. You need to uncomment this. 
we have forward slash star and star forward slash you can remove this and then save the changes once you saved the changes then refresh again and here we go now you can see that we have a checkout button disappeared from here that means it is no more available on the card page why because i have removed it and one more thing is for example we want to keep it back then you can undo the changes and finally we have to refresh it again and let's see now the checkout button appears one more thing is like for example we are coming from product page to cart page so sometimes you will be getting a drawer side cart so how we can hide that so for that you have to just go to the customize settings actually here we have the customize click on that and then after you can see that we have theme settings click on cart and here we have page so sometime you will be getting drawer but you have to select page because in that way once you are clicking on add to cart then directly you will be redirected to cart page all right so one last thing we have uh, is uh, that we need to replace the client id so client id means if you are uh, collecting the amount from your customers so definitely they are going to uh, pay the amount through these buttons on the cart so how you are connecting your paypal with your shopify so there is something called as client id that is a live client id if you are uh, copying from your paypal account and pasting it inside of your shopify store then that means that paypal is connected with your shopify so if someone is paying the amount that amount will directly go to your paypal account so where we are going to paste it so actually uh, on the paypal-smart-buttons.liquid you can see that we have uh, client id here right here equal to sb sb are two characters you need to delete these two characters and replace with the live client id which you will be copying from uh, your uh, paypal uh, paypal itself all right so i will be adding the video link below in the description you just follow that link and definitely you will get to know that how you can copy that uh, live client id and paste it here so in that way your uh, your paypal is connected with your shopify store all right so in that way your genuine payments would be accepted and you will get the amount in your paypal account all right so i think that you got the basic understanding of how to do all this stuff without knowing anything related to coding if you have any other uh, task for me related to coding then you can uh, contact me i will happy to help you out in that and if you have any other uh, new feature to develop so i am also interested to help you out in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are thinking this video was useful then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video